Taylor, you're really starting to piss me off. What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. Today I have a little bit of a rant on my hands because I've discovered Taylor Swift's snaky new plan to get more album sales. It's the year 2017. Obviously artists even like Taylor Swift are scrambling to get their album sales up. And in this very, very shady maneuver that we're gonna talk about here today, we're gonna learn why Ticketmaster's partnership with Taylor Swift is a total scam, not just Possibly this looks a little shady, not like the partnerships that I've seen in the past, like Madonna teaming up with Ticketmaster for everybody who buys tickets to a show, they get the album, and everybody who downloads it or whatever, you know, that counts as an album sale. And of course, Billboard has counted that and allowed that in the past. So people have schemed ways to really build on that. And with Taylor Swift and her team here on this, and obviously she has to sign off on this, she has to be okay with it, she really is in embracing this whole snake thing. Obviously, we saw the snakes in the teasers that she put out, and she even has snake merch now? What the hell is going on? I'm starting to lose every ounce of respect for an artist that I once stood up for and defended so many times as a pop star, as a person. I thought that she was much more genuine as a person, and I feel like the more that she really grows up and gets older, she's actually growing down and regressing and getting much more childish, not only with her music, but the way that she's just conducting herself in general, it's embarrassing. Pushing my feelings to the side on how I feel about the new Look What You Made Me Do song, which is literally just a combination of peaches and right said Fred, I'm too sexy for my shirt. No creativity there whatsoever, but putting my feelings to that to the side, just to take a look at what's going on with this Ticketmaster scheme, it's still just as bad. And I would see the exact same thing if this was 1989 and Shake It Off or Blank Space being, you know, the lead single. It doesn't matter about the quality of the music. I would say this if Green Day or if Coldplay or if Katy Perry were doing this. It is downright scummy. Let's take a look at the Ticketmaster video. Then go time comes and it's a race against the clock and the bots. Not just every seat, your seat. It's time to beat the bots. Taylor wants you at the show, going crazy with your friends, screaming every word to every song. Oh, Taylor just wants you to come with your friends, you know, just have a good time, you know? I'm sure the tickets are only gonna be like $150. Visit taylorswift.com, register, and unlock access to the Taylor Swift Tix portal. Once at the portal, you can choose your preferred city to see the show, then you'll have the opportunity to participate in unique activities that advance your spot in line. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that the more merch that I buy and the more times that I buy the album, I'm gonna have a better chance of getting tickets to Taylor Swift? I'm sure this isn't gonna brainwash 13 to 17 year old girls everywhere. Based on the activities you participate in, your place in line will move up and down. The better your spot in line, the better the opportunity to access tickets. Taylor can't wait to see me at the show. I bet she can't. I bet she can't. Guys, this is downright ridiculous, and it needs to stop because it sets the precedent. If Taylor Swift is doing it, then why wouldn't another artist do it? If it's successful, which it probably will be, which is probably the worst part about this, why wouldn't somebody else follow in her footsteps? We need to stand up and not do this. I'm not saying that everybody under the age of 18 is just a mindless drone, and I don't mean to just call out one group of people, but there's obviously a very impressionable age in her fan base that is going to be taken advantage of here. And I I can't stand that. I cannot stand the fact that people are going to be begging their parents to get this new gold-plated Taylor Swift snake ring or else whatever god-awful merch that she's putting on a hoodie or putting on a shirt or whatever it might be. I cannot stand the fact that kids are going to be begging their parents to buy the album on iTunes, buy the album at Walmart, buy the album at Target because it all counts and you can buy the album up to 13 times a day which is cheating. Nobody needs 13 copies of a record. And if you can do that daily to increase your chance of getting tickets, and if you're not familiar with how this system works, the verified fan program is basically like, oh, you're waiting in line. I've done it before for Muse, Paramore, that sort of thing. And it's always been a little bit sketchy, but I've never had to pay anything extra. It's just one of those things where you get your chance at getting tickets and avoiding scalpers. This is not about avoiding scalpers as they say in the video. This is about making more money, selling more records, and pure greed. So you're able to participate in boost 
activities, which basically means buy more stuff and your little meter goes up to green and you might actually get tickets, which is terrible considering there's probably for each show going to be like 60,000 tickets available and they're trying to get kids to increase their spot in line by buying more stuff. Oh, buy up a little bit more merch or pre-order the album here and here and here. Get a copy for your cousin even though you already know that she's pre-ordered 13 as well. Yeah, it looks like you can get a tiny little boost by tweeting out the record or posting it on Instagram or joining the mailing list, but you know that that's not going to boost your meter up enough to actually get you tickets tickets, you're going to have to purchase things. And you know what? They're going to wait too. They're not just going to release those tickets. They're not just going to send out the code like, oh, she bought the album once. All right, there you go. You're going to get a code in your email. That's not how it's going to work at all. You know what they're going to do. They're going to hold on to that and then they're going to finally slowly start trickling them out and people are going to feel so proud of themselves because look, I got tickets and all I had to do was buy the entire Taylor Swift web store. This is shady. This is shitty. This is scummy. And I doubt downright condemn it. This is absolutely awful from Taylor Swift. I don't care that you need more album sales. I don't care that you want to increase how things look on the billboard charts. This is downright terrible to fans and it is taking advantage of them to the fullest degree. I hope that more people realize this. I hope more people look into this and I cannot believe that this is allowed on billboard and by the chart trackers and that sort of thing. Everybody who keeps up with that data because this is ridiculous. I just feel bad already in advance for all the people who don't even care. They're not even going to care because they want to see their idol live. And can you blame them? If this was me and my favorite artist or my favorite band whenever I was a kid, I would do whatever it takes to go see them. So obviously they're at a disadvantage here because they're being held by the throat and being said, hey, do this or else you don't get to see me, which is ridiculous. I really hope that something changes. Other than that, guys, this is my rant. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. A link to a couple of things with a little bit more information on this are going to be in the description. Be sure to leave a like on the video. And other than that, let's just cut to the outro card. I'm mad. Thanks for tuning into the rant, guys. I can't believe that this is going on. And I can't believe that I'm having to talk about this. It just seems like common sense not to do this to your fans. Whatever. My Patreon's right over here in the corner. If you want to see another Taylor Swift video right here, another recent video right there, socials in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow on Beyond ARTV for SOS.